guys? It's your host here, Spartanic Arts DxD, back with another High School DxD Season 5 update video. And before we get into the video, please hit that subscribe and like button. You know we're on that 10K grind. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first thing that I did want to address was the Funimation tweet right up on screen here. And the reason why I'd wanted to address this first set of issue boomies was because of the Rias appreciation post. Again, everybody's promoting DxD. It's getting re-aired in August, just a month before the Fantasia Bunka Festival, which happens in late October. And if you guys don't know, the Fantasia Bunka Festival is where they would announce the DxD Season 5 if they would announce it, okay? But the reason why I bring up this Funimation tweet is because it's just another great promotion for DxD, and it's absolutely amazing that Funimation is 100% promoting DxD. You guys don't understand, like, the, the huge clout that it gets from promoting DxD because, obviously, a lot of DxD is going on right now. It's been included in tons of games, things like that. You get the point, etc. But let's go ahead and address Ishibumi's tweet in the next segment. So this leads into Ishibumi's tweet, and he said he says right now how to read DxD in high school DxD. D D D D. It is. Thank you to all of our overseas fans. And here he goes thinking the overseas fans are all the wonderful support that he has been receiving from obviously the overseas fans. And the reason why he's thanking the overseas fans and not the Japan fans is because, well, I'm pretty sure we're the main source of income when it comes to the light novel right now. And that's why it's super duper doing so well in the other things. Because, I mean, High School DxD, it's, it hasn't gotten any more popular, but it also hasn't lost any popularity at all. So, therefore, I mean, it, in all actuality, it's getting super duper popular in the western area and it's it's re-airing in japan which is 100 percent a good sign and do not judge me on this but japan sales are definitely lackluster as i have talked about before and that's why he is thinking about the, thanking the overseas fans but this does bring us another good notion for high school dxd season five so that leads me to my next point which is actually about the tweet where i was referring before which is the funimation tweet which jamie marchi followed up with and we're going to go ahead and talk about it so this leads me to jamie marchi let's pop this tweet right here jamie marchi she is the voice actor of Rhea Grimmery for the English dub, okay? And this is what she said. So obviously people were asking her, well, when would season five come out? Or when do you, like, you know, when do you have any information on it at all? And she says, ask me about the next season of High School DxD is a violation of my HI PAA rights. And basically the reason why she said that is because she's under an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement, and she is legally not allowed to say anything about the anime, no hints whatsoever. And that is why she will not say anything, which is completely understandable. Because remember when she hinted about season five before, everyone kind of went crazy for it. And I feel like she did get a warning from the company saying, like, hey, don't say anything if we ever plan to do anything or if there is something in the works, you know, something like that. And I completely understand that from the company side if you don't want any one of your actors leaking anything about it but I did see a point where somebody said well the voice actors probably don't know about it they find out when we do and I was like that doesn't make any sense they have to record the lines so they definitely know the season's coming out before us so that and that's why they're under an NDA so therefore that statement is that they're bola shit too so anyway but th again this is very good you know Jamie Marchi obviously retweeted and she said thanks for the appreciation once he did that and I was hoping the Japanese actor was going to reply to it just because that would have been cool to see, but unfortunately it didn't. But anyway, overall, okay, Jamie Marchi talking about it, you know, Funimation talking about it, still with all the TikTok promotions from Funimation as well, leading up to the re-airing once again, as I mentioned before. This is all really good, really good signs for DxD. I'm really, really happy right now, and let's go ahead and roll into my speculation. If you don't already know my speculation, I'll repeat it every time, just in case certain new viewers come to my channel, as I clarified from before. So as you already know, the tweet is up on screen. My speculation would be a 2020 announcement, a 2021 announcement, and a 2022 release date. As I said once before, just if it doesn't come out this Fantasia Book of Festival with with all these promotions, th this doesn't even make any sense at this point. And, and, and to be honest, we're we're probably just gonna have to say fuck it and blow it out the window because that that would make no sense if they're sitting here promoting, re-airing, do all these things, and CS5 doesn't get announced. But I will not put confirmed my title unless it is actually confirmed. And I will always update you on some good news. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you love DXD. Without further ado, let's go ahead and roll into the next point. That'll be it for this video. Thank you for all the continued support. My channel's been doing really well recently. Again, thank you so much. I'm really on that 10,000 subscriber grind. I want that 10K and I will stop at nothing to get it. So as I said before, um, thank you. I just want to thank you again. And without further ado, Spartanic Arts DXD out. Peace.